All right, what we have here is a 2019 Chevy Express van, conversion van by Explorer Van Company. This is the seven passenger high top edition, two wheel drive, six liter V8, six speed automatic transmission, 342 ring and pinion, towing capacity around 9,000 pounds on this guy. Does have electronic step boards on it, 20 by nine inch wheels on it. Got 18,100 miles in the odometer right now and change, uh, practically a brand new vehicle. Black, highly desirable color, nice looking unit. Let me go around here and uh, let you know exactly what kind of shape it's in. First, I want to let you know inside there's no funky smells. It smells just like you would expect it to. It doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked in or used to transport animals or pets on a regular basis. It, if it was, it was very well maintained. I can tell you for sure it's not been smoked in. I'm a non-smoker and I picked that up immediately. Across the front here, I do have a little bit of road rash from the miles it does have on it. Uh, you can see a couple little stone marks from the on the front bump bumper fascia here. It does have the uh, LED fog lamps by Explorer Van Company, both sides of the lamps, as well as the step bumper on the front so that you can get up and clean the windshield while you're on the open road without climbing on the hood of the vehicle. Uh, like I said, just a little bit of wear from highway miles. Don't see anything up with the chrome. The Chevy emblem looks good. Headlights look great. The hood's got some uh, bug marks on it and a couple little scuffs here being there from, from some mileage, but overall I don't see any dings on the, the, uh, the hood itself. Across the back here as well. Uh, windshield looks good. High top's got, uh, looks like bugs, bug juice on it, but that would be the extent of it. I don't see too much peppering on the mirrors. Again, just some bug guts and these a little bit of a, needs a wash job. It's been sitting out by the highway. It is dirty and it's black, so it shows a lot. Uh, tires, have you asked for specifically? I'm going to say they got about 18,000 miles on them. They look really good. Tread is uh, nice and, and deep still. And I'll go around to each one. I don't see any damage on the wheels at this point, so it doesn't appear to have been curved or banged around like that. The fender looks good. The door looks good. I see no damage whatsoever on the lower um, ground effects. Below the belt line, I don't see any dings, dents, scrapes, scratches, bangs. Above the belt line looks the same. Molding looks pretty good on this side until you get about here. There is some chrome separation on the molding, which is uh, unfortunately every piece of chrome molding that I've seen on these does that. Now, the fix, if you'd like us to, is to take the chrome off and it leaves a black, nice black uh, underneath it because it is a separate, the chrome is actually separate. So if you'd like us to, we'll take that off. Um, but they don't recreate the chrome anymore because it fa it fails quite a bit. Across the back, uh, looks like I got a small scuff on the back bumper here. Just a little bit of wear, not much. I do have a small, small ding. Well, there it is. On the back door, you can barely see that if you can. Backup camera, backup sensors, class three hitch, seven and four pin connector. This particular van also has a brake controller in it already installed so if you have a trailer and with some trailer brakes on it you can have that functioning properly with nothing else added to the van body wise the van's really nice don't see any dings on this side any damage on the uh the bodywork cladding back wheel looks good tires again awesome tread I'd say about 80% tread depth left. Got a couple scuffs here and there. Looks like something fell on it, probably in the garage. I know those marks. And again, you can see the uh, chrome is peeling just a little bit. Um, you either leave it in place for you or take the chrome off, but there is no replacement available. Most folks opt to take the chrome off, and it actually looks really good, I think, without the chrome. Got tires well. We'll go inside here. Does have the electronic boards. Start on the driver's side. It's a two-tone gray inside. The front windows have been tended by the previous owner. Graphite leather. Carpet's in good shape. It's dark gray. 18,000 and change on the odometer right now. Trip computer, auto headlights, dome, power windows, power door locks, of course, mirrors. Uh, seats don't have any rip stairs or punctures. They do have a, you know, 
A little bit of creasing on them, but no rip stairs or punctures at all. Steering wheel controls for cruise, steering wheel controls for hands-free operation. There's your factory navigation touchscreen with the CD player. And looks like it has Point navigation. It's always hard. It does. 12 volt power, traction control, airbag, OnStar. There's your lane change and collision avoidance. 110 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt. Uh, looks like drink holder here, and it's really clean inside. I always look at the condition and see how it was maintained in here, because if you let drinks just slop around and fill up and destroy your, you know, uh, cup holders here, it kind of gives an indication how the rest of the van was taken care of. You can uh, turn the electronic running boards on or off. There's your aftermarket brake controller. That looks like it was installed by the previous owner as well. You have your center cooler and wireless charging with your Blu-ray player. This does come out, also has storage around it. it. does have two quick releases on each side. Front seats, course of power with heat and lumbar. are in real good shape. I don't see any staining that I would expect on a vehicle this new. There is your swivel functionality. These seats do swivel. They do recline and incline. They do adjust for leg movement and they also quick release and come off the base rack there so you can remove those captain's chairs if you choose to. Also, the uh, seat belts in 18s and newers are integrated into the seats so that whatever position these seats are in at the moment you can be safely seat belted in. Also has the uh, side current airbags beginning in 18. Lighted cup holders, you do have some storage on the side, usually the uh, wireless headphones are kept in here. And you have your Blu-ray player, your game console hookup, storage for your remote controls. Overhead flat screen with surround, your blinds and your mood lighting, which is controlled by the overhead console up front, along with rear heat and air controls. There's a separate heat and air conditioner back here. Carpet looks good. Again, no staining, no weird smells. There's two 5-volt charging ports back here for phones or whatnot. Lighted cup holders. There's your sofa bed. Again. Lines look really good. Overhead storage. Oh, there's your sunroof. I don't see any staining around the sunroof at all. There's your sunshade. Controls are here. That's close. There we go. All right. I'll show you the bed functionality. There's that one. Got your floor mats, tie downs for car seat if you need it, your jack storage, and vacuum with power. There's your rear sofa bed controls. You can do legroom adjustment here, or we'll just put the seat down to take a nap. You see there it functions as the third section, which actually creates a longer section for sleeping. All right, put this back up, and again, I'm gonna ship this off to you. Let me so let me know if uh, you got any more questions or what else I can be of service for. Got some more storage back here, and in that black uh, leather pouch over there contains all the original paperwork for the aftermarket electronics, like the TV, surround sound, DVD player, Blu-ray player, all that sort of stuff. Thanks so much for watching.